You've downloaded Fusion, but how do you set it up for success with the Eastwood CNC plasma table? Let's go over a couple things to get you on the path to clean cuts. I have Fusion 360 loaded up here, but first I'm actually going to go to the CNC plasma table product page on eastwood.com. By searching CNC plasma in the top bar, we can pull it up. Here it is. Scroll down to the guides and accessories section. We want to click to download free post processor file that is required for post processing custom files in Fusion. This will put the postprocessor.cps file in your default downloads directory. Mine is just downloads. You can keep the file here or you can move it to somewhere else safe. Just make sure you know where you saved it. Jumping back into Fusion 360, we're going to drop down to the manufacturer space in the fabrication tab. Hit the G1, G2 symbol, which is our post process button. In this window, go to the post line and at the end, press the open folder button. In this window, we are going to make sure we're in My Posts, Local, then press the Import button at the top. Now this is where we are going to select the post file we just downloaded and press Open. Now it is loaded in Fusion 360, we can click on it and press Select. I'm going to go back to the design space and throw down a simple part I can show you how to post process for cutting with the machine. After that, I'll go into some more advanced post processing tips you may find useful. Now if you're completely lost in the whole CAD thing, the great thing about Fusion 360 is there are a ton of free tutorials on YouTube, the Fusion forums, and on the general web. I'm going to make a 50 millimeter square by pressing Create Sketch, clicking any plane, and using the two point rectangle tool up here. Now I dragged it out to 50 millimeters, but I can verify this with the dimension tool. So here it is, I'll click Finish Sketch, and I could make a cut path from this, but I always recommend extruding your sketch so there is no chance the cut path leading in and out on the part will cut the part you want to be clean. To do that, I'll hit extrude. It's auto-selected my sketch, but if it didn't, I would just click it like this. The thickness doesn't matter, so I'll throw five millimeters in. Now we have a 3D part to post-process. Back down to the manufacturer space in the fabrication menu, we're going to click on the laser torch symbol that represents the 2D profile tool. Now this is going to create a setup folder automatically. Make note, that'll be relevant in a minute when I alter this part. But back to the 2D profile window, it starts us on the tool tab. Click select, and I always go to local, library, location. Click the plus symbol at the top to create a tool. We want a plasma cutter here. Now the only thing you need to change is in the cutter tab. The kerf width is set in here so Fusion can compensate for it correctly. See our quick video on kerf but I'll throw in 1.2 millimeters as that's a good rough value. Press accept, now the tool is saved in the local library. Every time you post process into the future, it's here and it can be edited to change the kerf width, or you can set up multiple cutters with different widths to select from. Make sure the one you want is highlighted and press select. Now we can see it is selected here and it shows the kerf width. The next tab is geometry, so we'll select our part here. You can select the face or the edge, in this case it doesn't matter. Skipping over the heights tab to the passes tab, we want sideways compensation to be set to left. Make sure the compensation type is in computer to let Fusion compensate for the curve. The CNC table could compensate for a simple part like this, but when you get into more complicated parts with intricate geometries, it will give an error if you attempt to input a curve. Because of this, when making custom parts, I always recommend using in-computer compensation and leaving the kerf in the table to zero. Finishing overlap runs the torch a set distance past the lead point. This can clean up the lead in area. Personally, I'm not too concerned with that and leave it at zero. The outer corner mode is important if you want sharp corners. Keep this set to keep sharp or keep sharp with loop. With loop will take longer because it stops and resets the cut path in a way that it sort of loops around the corner in an attempt to keep the corner as clean as possible. Roll around edge will automatically put a small radius on sharp corners. Last is the linking tab. Here we can set the lead in details or disable lead in. I usually keep it simple, and leave the defaults for a part like this, but there may be situations you want more or need less lead in. I also leave pierce clearance default. Entry position can be useful when you have a specific segment you want the start point to be in. Now that everything is set, I'll press OK and it will process the cut path. This part is simple so it happens almost instantly, but large complicated parts with lots of segments can take time to process. To get this to the machine, I make sure the path is highlighted under Setups and press the G1, G2 symbol to post process. 
Since we loaded in the post processor at the beginning of the video, that's ready. Make sure it's selected. We can name the file. Select the output directory you want to save to, perhaps the USB drive, and press post. Now the file is saved and ready to go to the machine. But I'm going to modify this part and add a couple features here. Now we have some internal holes to handle. Back to the manufacturer tab, I'll start off with deleting this setup so it will make a new one. If you try to update the cut path based off the prior setup, it won't recognize the new features. Hit the 2D profile button again, select the plasma tool, the geometry, set it to in computer, we'll keep the corner sharp. And now let's say I want a 15 millimeter lead in. Press OK, and this is a problem because 15 millimeters is larger than the 13 millimeter hole I put in. Fusion lets me know this with a linking constraints warning. I'm going to fix this while keeping the 15 millimeter lead in on the outside. Right click the path, edit. In geometry, I can do this two ways. Clear and select the inner features or select inner loops will automatically select all inner features. Passes is still good. Back to linking. I'll drop my lead in to eight millimeters here and press OK. And now I have the inner features taken care of. To get the outside with the 15 millimeter lead in, I make another 2D profile. It's auto selected the previous plasma tool. I'll go in and select my geometry. This time I can select the outer loop or press outer loops for all outer loops. Passes, set that to in computer, keep the corner sharp. And linking, I can set that 15 millimeter lead in and press OK. So I have two separate paths now. It will post process these in order from top to bottom. I need the inner cuts completed first because if the outer cut is done first, the piece will drop away and it will be cutting air. Make sure your order is good, and if it isn't, click, hold, drag, and drop into the correct order. To post, now I'll hold control, select both of these, and press the G1, G2 symbol to post process. Same as before, make sure the post is selected, name the file, and verify it's going to the location you need it to.